Yo, so I never thought that I would be really interested in a Penguin series, but it's actually really good. Like, how can I possibly say that a series that I never really expected to come out or be a part of like an actual universe be this good? <laughs> so, 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 so we've getting, gotten a lot of uh, different uh things when it comes down to superhero genres uh marvel dc stuff like that to happen but now we're getting a mobster gangster film well not really a film but it feels like a film but a mobster gangster series uh this right here is about the penguin is about his rise to power his rise to fame stuff like that we're getting more information as to who uh what falcone did this right here is actually Falcone's son. Uh, Penguin ends up just talking to him, having a conversation, and out of nowhere, like, gives this story about uh, this old mobster, like, um, like, Danny, like, uh, what's that? Uh, Scarface type mobster or whatever like that, who was really involved in the community, stuff like that, doing really good with everybody, knowing everybody's names. And then when he died, everybody had a funeral and loved and expressed their love for this mobster and obviously that's exactly who penguin wants to be like and the son does not like that he thinks of it as a joke he doesn't even want to have want to even entertain the idea or well, you want to be like some type of lame dude you think that's exactly how how i'm gonna go ahead and function no that's not gonna be how i'm gonna do anything like that so penguin just gets to the point where he's pissed off he doesn't like him he just pop pop pops him he's done and it, it, it blew my mind that it just came out of nowhere i was not expecting something like that to just pop off that quick i was expecting it's a slow burn or them to hide the uh the killer anything like that but no 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 like in this series is really really dark which i feel like i might actually love i think dc does so much better when they do grounded reality-based stories that fit inside of a world. It doesn't have to be this big, gigantic, comic book accurate thing. Sometimes it could just be, this is a world, these are people that live inside the world and they just so happen to align with the comic book accurate names. And you just build unique stories. Not everything has to be having a exact story or exact feel. Some characters can just have similar names for example even uh the falcone's daughter uh falcone's daughter is literally in the comic books uh she talks about how she escaped arkham stuff like that how she just got out and you could tell she knows that penguin is lying whenever he tries to act as though that he didn't kill her brother she knows he killed her brother she she knows that some sly things are going on and how slimy the penguin actually is but she doesn't want to go ahead and let all of her cards out and see exactly well and tell him that she knows exactly what he did uh but yeah man the series is amazing it's grounded it's gritty it fits especially into like the matt reeves batman reality where we have uh robert pattinson being the a grounded, more accurate Batman, where he has like an actual car for a Batmobile, he has boots, his military gear he's used, and stuff like that. Again, Batman works well when it's in reality. His type of universe, his beans work well when it's inside of reality. Of course, they were talking about the new drug that's supposed to be developing pretty soon. I already know, I think I know exactly what this drug is. I guarantee you this drug is Venom because uh, Batman used uh, a version of Venom when he was in the fight between all the uh, Riddler thugs and stuff like that. He shot himself up, got up, started beating down somebody. And I think, I think Falcone found out about this and the sun is trying to capitalize on it because they're trying to shut down penguins operation saying that he can't uh sell drugs or anything like that because all this stuff is going on the riddler's uh section while well, the riddler's bombing completely flooded out the penguin's stock so in other words he has to go in and be he has to sell something else he has to be pushing something else in order for this entire situation to to blossom 
And I think that that something else might just so happen to be venom. I don't know. I, 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 oh man, that is so good. It's so good. But the biggest issue when it comes out to these type of small stories that are just about the villains, you're constantly wondering where is the superhero while all these different things are going on? Where is the superhero? Now, the movie can explain this away. It can say that Batman was just in recovery. He was cleaning up Gotham after the flood, stuff like that. Uh, helping people go on, helping people get over what happened with the flood. And that's the only reason why he's not into this right now. That could be what they do. And I hope it's what they do. It would make a lot more sense when it comes down to the series. Oh, of course, they had to bring Mr. Krabs into this. <laughs> Yo, this guy is in literally everything. Everything. Oh, man. But I don't know. I love this this series. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. If you are, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like me, love me, and talk to me down below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.